Okay, here's the rabbit cages that my husband is working on as I am sitting on the computer watching him, listening to, to video about rabbits, I should say. He um, has made doors in them, and look, he smoothed the edges off, so I would... Those haven't been smoothed yet. Those are just bent over. Okay, they're bent over cause, so I don't scratch my delicate hand. These ones are... I left a little bit of the wire hanging down and I bent them up and then I just squeeze them together so that you can run your hand across here and not get caught. That's the way he knows. And why do you, okay, what's this about? The gap. There's two, two panels here. In case you get a buck and a dough, you could take cardboard or piece of plywood, two foot by two foot, and slide it right down in between here. And why would you do that? Because the buck will urinate on the dough if she's in heat, and if you don't want to handle a rabbit salt rabbit urine, you need to separate them. But if uh, it also gives you a little gap, so if you've got two does together, they're not pulling each other's hair. You know how women are. <laughs> so there you see, he's got uh, he's built me four cages and uh, nice. Big cages, may I add? Three, and three by two by two. Wire was a little expensive. It costs about seventy-five dollars for all four of these cages together. But it was about five rolls of wire. But the quality is better, and they will last me probably my whole life. And some. And some. 